Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone. Welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. SLA definitions play an important role in ITSM as they make sure if all the tickets are responded or resolved within defined SLA. In this video, we will configure some SLA definitions. And what exactly we will do? We will create SLA definitions for service desk team for each priority. So let's configure SLAs for incident management for this service desk team in our instance. To configure SLA in ServiceNow, you have a separate application. So if you go to application navigator and type SLA, you will get this service level management application where you can configure SLAs for different tables in ServiceNow. So if I click on SLA definitions, here you will find different definitions you have for SLAs for different tables you have in, in the instance. As of now, we only have 14 SLA definitions and that is also for incident. So we have all these ATF. I think we also have this uh, database group resolution. We have network group resolution, priority one resolution, P2 resolution, and I think response and resolution both. Majorly SLAs are basically considered as for considered for resolution and response. Then in how much time you respond to a ticket and in how much time you resolve the ticket, both are really important. But as part of the task for this particular mock, we will basically create SLA definitions for each priority for a service desk team. So how exactly we will do that? Let's let's define some uh, priority timings for each each pri uh, basically timings duration for each priority. How exactly we will do that? So let's say we have P1, P2, P3, P4. So we will do priority one ticket should be responded, should be responded in five minutes. We are talking about service desk team and priority one ticket should be resolved in one hour. And that will be basically by service desk team. So any ticket which is staying with service desk team, it has to be resolved in one hour. Let's say then we have priority two. For priority two, we can just maybe for resolution, we, we can make it the same, same kind of uh, uh, timings we have here. Or let's not create all for all the priority. Let's just create for P1, uh, response should be five minutes and resolution should be one hour for service desk team. So how can we do that? Let's start creating it. So we will just click on a new button because this will give you the form for creation of new SLA definition. And I can just give the logical name so that you can recognize that what kind of SLA definition it is. So I can just mention maybe service, service desk response SLA, or maybe just service desk response. Here we have SLA for sure. Target, I can select response. I will keep incident and then flow. Yep, default SLA workflow would work. Here I will say user specified duration. So we want to uh, response the ticket in five minutes. And we have SLA definition schedule because service desk basically normally be like 24 by seven. So we'll keep 24 by seven. And time zone, we can keep callers time zone. That's totally fine. Here we have this. Now, when exactly you want to start the SLA? So start condition, I will put when basically incident is uh, created. So I can do that. I think basically when incident is created, then you can, you can put that. So in that case, um, I think start condition should be uh, when assignment group is service desk. So that's uh, that's a SLA for 
service desk. So we will put start condition when ticket will be assigned to service desk, then that SLA will be started. So we have assignment group is service desk. When to cancel, cancel the condition. If you're canceling the condition, then assignment group is not is not i think we should not cancel that sla because even if incident was assigned to somebody else at least we want to see then in, in how much time this team responded to the ticket because that's really important so maybe i will not cancel uh, the sla and i will just go to i don't have to go to pause uh, because if incident signed we definitely want them to respond asap what exactly the stop condition is stop condition will be if state state will become a state is in progress and assigned to is not empty in that case we will basically is not empty is not empty so this this condition will be basically make this SLA for stop. Okay, so you start with start, but then we have stop. Um, I don't want to make any uh, pause condition for response, so this should be okay. So I will just save this, and now I will go for resolution. In resolution we want to keep as uh, one hour, so we can just keep at one hour. So here I will just change quickly. I will make it resolution and I will change this resolution here I will keep as is uh, we will change this one because I want to make it one hour so I will change this to one hour and it's 24 by 7 for sure and then uh, I think one thing we forgot uh, basically priority but I want I want every ticket to be maybe responded in five minutes. So we, I don't have to mention any priority. But what about resolution? When exactly? So if ticket is with service desk team, and if it is staying more than one hour, I really want them to resolve in one hour for any priority. I think uh, maybe that won't be fair. Let's make it priority one. So in that case, start condition would be assignment group is service desk and priority. So I can just mention priority is one. And we want this to be resolved in one hour. And I want to cancel this. I will cancel this basically when assignment group is not not empty. It should be is not service desk then i will cancel that sla and when exactly i will stop this i will stop it when state is resolved and that's it once state is resolved we definitely want that particular uh, sla to be stopped and i can just mention so assignment group is service desk priorities uh, critical and assignment group is not service desk for cancellation and that's it for now so i can just do one thing i can just do insert and stay so we have two slas created i will go to sla definitions and i will also show you that how exactly these sla definitions will be displayed so if i sort this you can see we have service desk resolution service desk response so how exactly i will validate this Let's go to incident. So I will type incident and I will definitely create incident. So if I go here and I will select, let's say mock idle manager, I will select email and I will select any configuration item and I will select here service desk. And then I will mention test for SLA and if I click on save, if you will do that, and if I go at the bottom, and if I just reload it, so you can see we have this service desk response. It automatically got created. It has already started. So it says four minutes because we have five minutes to respond. How can I complete this? 
I will just make it, sorry, not resolved. I will make it in progress. I will select the service desk user. If I click on save, you will see this time that your SLA will be stopped. That means it will be completed. So if I come here, absolutely, you can see our service desk response got completed automatically. What about the resolution? So if I change this to, let's say high and high, and if I save this, okay, it won't, won notes, I will just mention test, and if I click on save, so, and if I go at the bottom, yes, we got our another SLA and we have this service desk resolution. And this is for one hour. How can I stop this? I can just make it resolved and I can just go here, make it permanently test and I can just click on save. And you will see that this SLA will also be completed. So if I come here, absolutely, you can see service desk resolution is completed. So that's how you can configure SLA in ServiceNow instance for incident management and even for other task tables you have in ITSM. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.